Yes. Roll up. Greetings, I'm Berent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We are going to be doing a special unboxing of Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. This board game is by Fallen Dominion, and its game is made by John Lundgren and Sean Cahill, or Cahill. I apologize if I pronounced your name wrong. This game is normally for two to five players and plays about an hour, but I was able to also get a hold of the expansion, Fallen Land, which is going to be able to bring us into a journey into darkness. Now what this box does is it allows us to play one of two solo variants, and I'm really excited to get to those. Now I do obviously play games with more than one people, <laughs> not just myself, but for this exact playthrough, I'm excited to go through one of the solo campaigns. I was able to get a copy of this game from a member of the community. He was able to hook me up with a copy, and I'm really excited to do this unboxing so that we can get right into the game. There's a lot of different elements that go into being able to play this game. It's able to do things with cards, RPG, there's a board, you can kind of go around and do different quests. And so I'm really excited to dig into this and see what it's all about. So let's take the shrink wrap off and see what's inside. All right, I managed to get the shrink wrap off the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> the rule book right away. That's fantastic. I haven't had a chance to look at the rules yet, but I'm going to go through each one of these and read it so I can get this to the table as fast as I can. I think this game is going to be a lot of fun. All right, it looks like I got a little bit of reading to do, so we're going to set this aside. Next, we have the town player mats. Now, each one of these, I believe, is a little bit different. A lot of the stuff on the outside is the same, but the symbol for your faction and some of the faction perks are going to be different for each faction. Oh yeah, here we go. So take a look. This one's called Hunter Instincts, and this one's called Combat Medic. And look, you're going to get a little bit different uh, starting stuff, or you're going to get things that are going to be able to help you in the game. So we've got all different kinds. We've got Syndicate, we've got the Swamp Runners, we've got New Federalists, the Regulators. There's a lot to choose from here. The Highwaymen, the Brotherhood, oh, that's something else. No, oh, the Sons of Neptune. That one looks kind of cool. <laughs> Sigma Corporation. All right, those are our player town mats. The next thing is we have, of course, our first player sheet. And this is probably going to run down everything that you're going to be doing during your turn, which is going to be awesome. So you can just go step by step through this, and you can see exactly what you're going to need to do next. And now we have a ton of punch boards. Look at this. We've got a whole ton of these punch boards here. What's some of this stuff on these punch boards? I believe, let's see here, these look like they might be town technology chips. So as you gain technologies, you're gonna put these out, I believe. We also have, obviously, <laughs> weak penalties. We've got the turn marker right down here. I'm gonna guess that these are gonna be probably some of the factions or something, I'm guessing. Um, let's see here, these are gonna be, oh, what could these be? According to this, I think they're gonna to be town defense chips, is my guess. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, these are going to be all the different symbols for all the different factions, I bet. These are going to be health chips, so I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark on that one. And this is going to be maybe damage chips for your mind or something, maybe. And these are going to be savage coin chips, I believe is what they call these. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm going to guess you don't want too many of these. These are more damage chips of some kind. And I believe these are some more of our factions dumped right there. Oh, look, they got one, three, fives, and oh, here's some gasoline. We're going to need some of those. These are some more salvage chips here. More town defense chips. Technologies here. We've got our mission chips. I'm guessing that's what those are going to be because they say mission all over them. And what's this? Point of interest. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you can check out different points of interest. All right, so we have all of our punch boards here. I'm going to have to punch all these out and get them all set. Now, it also comes with a huge board, I believe. Let's take a look. This board is going to be, yeah, it's going to be pretty big. I don't think I'll be able to get it all on camera. But we'll take a look. It's going to be a board of America. Of course, this is the, our fallen land that has taken place after our post-apocalyptic extravaganza. Now, of course, there's numbers all over this board. There's symbols all over this board. And we're going to have to go over all those when we get to the playthrough. But I just wanted to show you the map really quick, or the board, the map, whatever you want to call it. We're going to fold it up and put it aside. And now look at all these cards. There's a ton of cards. This game has got a wealth of cards. We've got three six 
packs of cards. All these are going to be amazing. All right, we also have some dice. They're all different colored dice. And the color actually matters from what I gather. It determines what certain people are rolling certain dice, depend on the colors, if I remember right. And here are going to be the faction ships, that tokens, I should say, that we're going to be moving around our, the board, is my guess. So we've got the, I'm going to guess that's the highwaymen. But these look pretty cool. Oh, these are really neat. I like the whole insignia in the circle instead of just it being just the insignia. I like having that circle around it. That looks really cool. There's the M's or the threes or the E's, whatever you want to call them. I don't know which one that is. I apologize. <laughs> Wolf. What else we got here? Alligators. That's kind of cool. We got those. All right. So here's all these. Oh, there's that. Trident, that's going to be those ones. These might be the, if I'm able to pick, I might be picking these guys. That one looks pretty cool. So those are, though, those are our party markers. We're going to go ahead. We've got some dice and then check this out. An astronomical amount of bags. This game gives us tons of bags. That's really cool. Now I'm going to take these cards out. And we're going to quickly go through them. Now, again, I apologize. I don't know what all these cards do right off the bat, but at least I can give you a heads up as to what they are. So our first pack of cards here, it looks like it's got some missions mountains more missions more more mountains more missions what's this one all oh, planes i want i don't know if these are any semblance of order or if they're just kind of all thrown together in kind of a hodgepodge of what these two types could be we might have to sort these i'll have to take a look it just looks like it's mountains and missions let's go ahead and look at a mission and just see what it says here oh look there's lots of text on this card mutant Intr interlude oh so it's going to give us a little synopsis of it and probably some skill checks we have to make, and then what happens when we succeed or don't succeed. That's gonna be pretty sweet. I'm excited for that. Mountain, Raging River. Well, that sounds like it might be in the mountain. So those are gonna be mountains and missions, it looks like. I don't wanna show off too much of these because I don't wanna spoil too much of the game, but they do have mountains and missions. Now I've got some action cards, and these are literally all action cards. Let's take a look at some of these. I don't think this is gonna spoil too much. Chemical Solution, play any time on a party. Each of those characters heal three of any form of damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. Enlightenment. That's a really cool looking card. I like how there's art up here. Oh, look at that art. Infestation. Well, I don't think I want that. Intelligence operatives. Ask the magic eight ball. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Oh, I hope I get that card. Oh, what's this? Medical ingenuity. Oh, that one's a fumble. That's kind of funny. Lucky charm assassinate all right so we've got all these different actions i believe we're going to probably get actions based on our faction we choose or else we're going to probably level up and gain new action cards i'm pretty excited for that all right we also have got some more here planes so it looks like there's gonna be different types of terrain we're gonna to have to deal with spoils well, these are going to be obviously items that we gain from maybe getting through a mission or killing people radiation and biohazard suits that's pretty cool equipped to all characters or none Ignore radiation damage. Infected wounds are assigned as physical damage. And of course, it's going to have some kind of statistics in what it's going to either add or subtract to. Now, I don't know a lot about what those are yet, but as I read through the rules and we get into the playing of this game, we'll figure it all out. So again, it looks like we have terrain cards and we have our spoils cards. And that's probably all that's going to be in these this deck right here. That is it. Let's look at another, I'm interested in another spoils card. What's this thing? A vehicle, Curtis Watt, enters play with an old rusty. It may be equipped in conjunction with another vehicle. Okay, so in this game, you also do get vehicles. I know that. And vehicles are going to help you like carry some of your stuff around and also get you around the board faster. Now, this pack actually comes with a turn summary card. So not only do we get that first player card, you also get a smaller card here that probably is going to help us get through each of our turns. All right, we're going to put that aside. We got city rad cards, radiation cards is my guess. Some more action cards. I wonder if these are going to be more powerful action cards. I don't know. Saboteur, more of our turn order cards. So it looks like they kind of come in an order. So you're going to get another set of city and action cards. City and action cards. Are they the same kind of action cards? I don't know. I don't think so. I think there's just so many different cards. And there really are a ton of cards. It's amazing how many cards this game comes with. We continue down the rabbit hole. We've got more spoils cards. These are all spoils. Wow, look at that. 
So many different things that you can collect in this game. Oh my goodness, look at this. We got an expired pre-war library card. Oh, that's pretty awesome. What's this? A nifty chemistry set. Equipment, technical, stowable. Okay, and it's gonna obviously give us advantages to certain things, I'm guessing. Wow, just a whole deck of spoil cards. Now I've got another deck that starts with spoils. Is it all spoils? No. Oh, it even has characters. There's probably a ton of characters as well we can be. Let's look at one. Who's this? Ivory Pace. Fiery Flight Nurse. You kill all the slavers, I'll help the refugees. Wow, all right, so we got a Fiery Flight Nurse. That's pretty cool. Obviously these are going to be, I'm guessing your statistics of some kind that you're gonna be testing against. These I'm guessing are your damages you can take to your mind and to your health is my guess. I don't know what the 15 is though. Obviously she's gonna have her own special powers is my guess. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Look at all these different characters. There are so many. Let's look at another one. Who's this guy? He is Benny Ocean, holistic hippie medical doctor. That's pretty awesome. That's that guy. All right. Keep looking through them. We got spoils and characters. I bet this whole deck. So I think about how many characters there are just in this is like one deck and half of it is characters that we can be. Now that's everything in Fallen Land, a post-apocalyptic board game, the core game. Now let's take a look at what's inside the Journey into Darkness. Now this is gonna be able to make this game into a solo game. It has two different variants, so I'm pretty excited. Now I'm guessing these are the rules for those variants, not to mention some of the, probably the new expansion stuff that they are gonna have in the game. So I'll have to read through that. And it comes again with more dice. And again, if I remember, like I said, I believe the color you're rolling is gonna actually matter. It comes with more six-siders. Again, it's got, it's got its own bag, that's pretty awesome. And now it's got a, two sets of cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in our two packs of cards that are in the Journey into Darkness. Here's our first pack. Our first pack of cards, I'm gonna guess, are all characters. Nope, it's characters and spoils again. What kind of spoils we got? Oh, an armored car, you can't go wrong with that. Oh, there's nothing I want in a post-apocalyptic world, probably an armored car. That's pretty awesome. Let's see what kind of characters I've got. I've got Chad Zombimos, Renegade Hacker. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what else we got here. All characters and spoil cards. All right, that's what's in this pack. Now let's see what's in this one. All right, this one looks like it's got actions, missions again. It also looks like it has some planes and mountain encounters. So I'm guessing this is just gonna add a lot to the base game. You're gonna, you can even, <laughs> if you didn't have enough from the base game when it comes to missions and uh, things to go out and do, it's adding even more. Now some of these might be for just the solo variant, which is why they maybe have all these cards. Again, I apologize, I don't know right off the top of my head. I'd have to read through the book to find out exactly everything but this game is absolutely massive. Look at all these cards that we're gonna be using in this game. Oh, I'm so excited to get this thing to the table. So that is gonna be just a quick unboxing of Fallen Lands Unknown, or Fallen Land, sorry, a post-apocalyptic board game. Oh, this one's gonna be fun. I'm excited to get to it. And of course, I'm really excited of the fact that I got a journey into darkness, which is going to allow us to play this as a solo variant. Again, I wanted to thank the member of the community that was able to get me a copy of this game so that I can get it to the table for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Again, I'm really excited to get this to the table. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead, give it a like, hit the subscribe button, also that bell symbol, and then you'll know when my playthrough of this begins. Please leave anything in the comments below. Have you had a chance to play this game? This game was out in 2017, so it is not a brand new game, but I'm really excited to get it to the table. For those that have played it, what do you think of this game? Did you enjoy it? Do you have the expansion? And is that did that add a lot to it to be able to play it solo? Again, thank you so much for watching, and if you're excited to see what happens in the fallen land, then I need you to meet me at the table.